Hey guys, um, I'll be honest, this is almost going to be a rant. <laughs> this is the video that I nearly did last year. I just held myself back. But a couple of things have come to my attention over the past two or three weeks that made me realise, yeah, I need to do this video. It's basically about personal trainers who don't give nutrition advice. Yes, I didn't realise that existed. I was absolutely shocked when I heard about this last year. And it's happened over the past few weeks. Now, don't get me wrong. A personal trainer is not... Um, does not have to give nutrition advice because most people go to, let's say, a personal trainer to train them, go through an exercise regime. Unless there's an actual agreement about nutrition, then, to be fair, the personal trainer hasn't actually done anything wrong. Now, this is where I disagree with that because the personal training business is a results business. Pretty much most people who go to a personal trainer, I hope, want to get better results, okay? Typically, again, most people are trying to lose weight, burn fat, basically feel better about themselves, be healthier, look good in the clothes that they want to wear, okay? So we just keep that simple, they want to lose weight. Now, without judgment being thrown, that normally means most people are not eating very well. They don't understand about food. Their behaviours don't are, are not in alignment with them wanting to, you know, lose weight and feel good. Okay, because people aren't taught this, so they kind of aren't doing anything wrong. It's just not their fault. You know, they're not taught about nutrition at school, at college, and their you know, parents kind of don't know even normally. So it's kind of not their fault. So you're sort of thrown into this world of expecting to eat in certain ways, and people are influenced by the TV, by media, and you believe into that because they have this certain level of authority. So whatever they say, you believe into. And you know, we could go down the route of, Again, marketing bullshit. That people get swayed by what people, other people say. Um, but nutrition is such a big thing. Certainly for me, if someone comes to me and they want to, let's say, feel better, lose weight, smashing someone around the gym is not the first place to go. Yeah. I used to be like that a few years ago. That used to be me. I put my hands up to that. But that's certainly not me now. That's ultimately where the health formation came from. So understanding different things. Training is almost the last part. If someone comes to me wanting to lose weight and, and, and start a training plan, we first look at nutrition. We also look at mindset. When we bring those things together, the training actually becomes the easy part. So when I hear about personal trainers who don't give out nutrition advice, they don't help people about their behaviours, it kind of it pisses me off a little bit because I will say to people, it's not the hour or two that people would spend, let's say, with me or a personal trainer. It's what you do outside. Changing people's lifestyles, changing people's behaviours, making their life become simpler because then if you go to the gym you do exercise you work with a personal trainer life becomes easy you get the results you want okay i'll leave it there something for you to think about rant over haha <laughs>